Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Dr. Amal Bhanu. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been making waves in the beauty and health industry. Glutathione supplements. Are they really the miracle skin lightening solution they're hyped up to be? Or just the latest snake oil? Let's find out. Glutathione is a powerful antioxidant that's essential for our health. It's especially important for maintaining the health of our red blood cells and protecting our cells from damage. But what makes glutathione so special? Let's take a closer look at its benefits and how it works in our bodies. Glutathione is a low molecular weight thiol tripeptide composed of three amino acids, cysteine, glutamine, and glycine. This powerful molecule helps neutralize free radicals, supports immune function, and detoxifies the liver. It's like the ultimate multitasker in your body, keeping everything running smoothly. When it comes to skin lightening, glutathione inhibits the enzyme tyrosinase, which is involved in the production of melanin, the pigment that gives our skin its color. By reducing melanin production, glutathione can potentially lighten the skin. Sounds like a dream, right? But wait, there's more. Now let's discuss the potential adverse effects of glutathione supplements, especially when used for skin lightening. IV glutathione can cause a range of side effects. These include allergic reactions like rashes, itching, and swelling. Because who doesn't love an unexpected rash? Gastrointestinal issues such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. A great way to spend your weekend. Respiratory problems, which can be severe in some cases. Just what you need, an asthma attack for clearer skin. Hormonal imbalances that can affect your thyroid function. So you can lighten your skin and mess up your metabolism at the same time. Liver and kidney concerns especially with long-term use, because nothing says beauty like potential organ damage. Neurological effects. Some evidence suggests potential nerve damage with prolonged use, because nothing says glow up like nerve damage. Reproductive health. There is limited research, but some studies hint at potential negative effects on fertility, because who needs kids when you can have lighter skin? Moreover, the use of IV glutathione for skin lightening is not approved by many health regulatory bodies. For example, in India, it's only approved for specific liver conditions and as a treatment to reduce chemotherapy-related neurotoxicity. So why is it being used so widely for skin lightening? The answer lies in aggressive marketing by some pharma cosmeceutical companies and the lack of strict regulations in many countries. This has led to its unchecked and often unsupervised use. Because who cares about rules when you can have lighter skin, right? The studies available to date that have evaluated the role of glutathione in skin lightening have numerous limitations. Small sample sizes reducing the reliability of the findings. You know, like a party where only three people show up. Short study durations failing to capture long-term effects. Because who needs to know what happens in the long run? Variations in dosages and administration methods leading to inconsistent results. It's like trying to bake a cake with random ingredients and hoping it turns out edible. One of the major concerns is that most of the existing studies are either small-scale or not robust enough to provide conclusive evidence. For instance, while some studies suggest a potential for skin lightening, others show minimal to no effect. This inconsistency makes it difficult to draw definitive conclusions. It's like flipping a coin. Heads, you might lighten your skin. Tails, you just wasted your money. Now let's take a closer look at the potential health risks associated with glutathione supplements, particularly IV administration. Ready for more fun facts? Given these risks, what can you do to protect your health? Here are some recommendations. Consult with a healthcare provider. Always seek professional advice before starting any glutathione supplement regimen. Don't just ask your friend who sells it on Instagram. Focus on natural sources. Prioritize a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds to naturally boost your glutathione levels. Your body will thank you. Adhere to evidence-based practices. Physicians should rely on evidence-based practices and follow regulatory guidelines when considering glutathione for skin lightening because science is a thing. Public awareness. Increased awareness about the potential risks and limitations of glutathione for skin lightening is crucial. Spread the word, not the rash. Regulatory measures. Stricter regulations are needed to control the off-label use of glutathione, ensuring it is used only for approved medical conditions. Because rules exist for a reason. 
In conclusion, while glutathione has some incredible health benefits, its use as a skin lightening agent is still highly controversial and potentially risky. The best approach is to focus on maintaining your health through a balanced diet and lifestyle, and to consult with healthcare professionals before considering any supplements. Remember, your health is more important than chasing unrealistic beauty standards. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next. Stay healthy and take care.